Matsayang araw. So ngayon naman, ang tatalakayin natin ay ang factoring sum or difference of two cubes. So una, paano nga ba natin malalaman na yun ay sum or difference of two cubes? So ang concentration natin ngayon ay sum of two cubes. Paano natin makukuha ang kanyang factors? So pag sinabi natin sum of two cubes, ibig sabihin sum, we are referring to the operation. So ang operation ay addition. Diba? And then, 2 cubes, ang A cube at ang B cube ay cubes yon, So, perfect cube sila. So, ibig sabihin, 1, 2. So, we have 2 cubes. Okay. And then, paano ba makukuha ang factors niya? Kung titignan natin, so, we will get the cube root of A cube that is equal to A. Cube root of B cube that is equal to B. Kung anong operation dito, ilalagay siya dito. So, this is the binomial uh, factor of sum of two cubes given. And then, itong trinomial factor ng sum of two cubes, nakabatay na siya dito kay binomial factor. Pag nakuha natin itong binomial factor, madali na din natin masundan itong trinomial factor niya. So, paano ba to? Mapapansin natin, we will get the square of the first term that is a squared. And then minus the product of the first and second term of the binomial factor. So minus AB plus the square of the second term which is B. So B squared. So ganyan lang ang pattern ng pagkuha ng factors ng sum of two cubes. So itry natin dito sa example natin. So Y cubed plus 8. So ibig sabihin... So, pwede natin itong i-expand. So, eto, this is equivalent to y times y times y. So, y times y times y, that is equivalent to y cube. And then, plus, etong 8 naman. So, that is equivalent to 2 and 4. And then, ang 4 ay 2 and 2. So, ibig sabihin, that is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. So, y times y times y plus dito naman we have 2 times 2 times 2 so 8 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 and 8 is also equivalent to 2 cube so kung mapapansin mo 2 cube y cube so that is 2 cubes so we are dealing with sum of 2 cubes so, yan. So, meron na tayong ganyan. And then, kukunin na natin ang factors niya. So, mapapansin natin. So, ilagay natin dito. Okay. So, ang cube root. So, kukunin natin ang cube root. Okay. Nang y cube, makakancel lang to. So, the answer is y. So, ilalagay natin dito y. And then, plus, kasi sum ito, ang cube root naman ng 8, so ang cube root ng 8 natin, which is 8 is equivalent to 2 cube, makakancel lang yan, that is equal to 2. So, itong 8 na to, sa kayong 2 cube na yun, pareho lang ang value niya. So, that is equal to 2. So, makikita mo yun. So, dito, ilalagay natin ang 2. Okay, next. Ito, nakuha na natin yung binomial factor ng sum of 2 cubes given natin. Nakabate na dyan ang trinomial factor natin. Ang unang gagawin sa first factor ng trinomial natin, kukunin ang square ng first term ng binomial factor. So, squared is squared siya. So, we have y squared. Next, minus the product of the first and second. So, y times 2, that is equal to 2y. Uh, that is 2 times y is 2y. Plus, the square of the second term. So, ibig sabihin, that is 2 squared. So, this here, we have 2 squared. Ayan. And then, pag sinimplify natin, ito kasi pwede pang mas simplify. So, ibig sabihin, we have y plus 2 times y squared minus 2y plus 
4. So, eto na ang sagot or ang factors ng y cube plus 8. Take note that 8 is a perfect cube. Kaya 1, 2, so we have 2 cubes. We are adding 2 cubes. And we, uh, possible that we can get the factors of that sum of 2 cubes. So the factors are the binomial factor y plus 2 and then the trinomial factor which is y squared minus 2y plus 4.